just wanted to talk you through today's session. So I've been trying to think over the last few weeks what I can get up to in terms of giving myself some goals in the gym. And I thought, you know what, it's been years since you've pushed yourself on a deadlift movement. So fuck it, let's go for it, see what you can get up to. So rather than do a one rep max, I thought I'm going to go for a five rep max today and see what I can get in eight weeks time and see if I can put 10 kilos on. Uh, so today I got in with, got started with a warm up, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, 10 minutes, salt run, a salt bike, just like to get nice and sweaty before I start. I found as I'm getting older, the warmer I feel before I start, the less brittle my muscles feel. And when they don't feel brittle, if you're lifting really heavy, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Then I went into some movement prep. So I went some deficit lunges I like these and seem to activate my glutes well. Um, some bird dog rows. If you haven't tried these, these are really good. Warm your obliques up and also seem to get your core really activated. If you've got a nice core pump or like your core feels nice and stiff before you start deadlifting, definitely helps um, you can push the weights a lot higher and it doesn't seem to get in your head if your back's feeling weak or you can feel the weight through your midline it can get in your head pretty quickly then i went into some side plank rotations again just another one to warm the core up get it activated get some blood flow through it because i liked power clean before i deadlift i've just found over the years whenever i go into some deadlifts before I like to do either some high box jumps or some power cleans just because it seems to activate, I don't know, I don't know bro science you up, but it definitely activates your fast twit muscle fibers so the bar doesn't feel as heavy off the floor. And if it doesn't feel heavy off the floor, that's what it's all about really. You can get it, If you can get a bit of speed off the floor, you don't talk yourself out of it past your knee. So got into some power cleans to start. And because I like, so with a good deadlift, if you can keep your hips down before the bar gets to your knee without shooting your butt up, basically, or doing a stripper deadlift, you normally find that the weights can go pretty well. And that's kind of my problem. Whenever I get like around that 250 mark, I notice that my hips shoot up, can't keep my like my, my hips down. So I la thought I'd start with some low hang power cleans. Now, low hang power cleans focus on that. It makes you want to keep your hips down when you do them. Puts a little bit of uh, load through your back and gets it nice and warm. So I thought I'll just build up to a heavy double here, uh, see how that goes, and then I'll get into some deadlifts after because I know that whenever I do power cleans, like I said before, the weight feels a little bit lighter. So just build up slowly, um, and then you can see the weights on the bar now. I'm at 130, which is obviously a decent load on this. Uh, actually felt really good um didn't go too bad to be honest i th was expecting my elbows to be a little bit sore from a lot of pressing work yesterday but they didn't feel too bad which was great then uh, i went out a go at 140 next as you can see i have to get a, a little bit more psyched up for this one but weight moves nicely make good contact with the hip this second one went a little bit harder than I thought. I was like, oh, fuck. I hope I haven't tied my upper back out. Because sometimes when you catch that power clean that little bit lower, you can feel your upper back round a little bit. But it seemed to be all right. And then I got into my deadlift. So don't ever wear your sweatbands when you're putting these wraps on because it makes them sit in the wrong place. Silly mistake, rookie mistake. Uh, 160 just thought i'd hit a triple again that's what i'm focusing on keeping my hips down not letting my arse shoot up so that when it gets that little bit heavier i can grind it out with my legs rather than grinding it out with my upper back and my lower back which is exactly what you don't want because then you're going to wake up and not be able to move the next day 200 went for three here this actually felt heavy um it doesn't look too bad that's why it's always good to watch the video back I watched the video back and I was like, yeah, you've got to fucking go for 230, don't be a pussy. Whereas before I was like, that felt odd, I'm going to go 220. And I watched the video and I was like, nah, if you were coaching yourself, what would you go for? Or what would you tell them to go for? And I was like, come on, you got it at 230, yeah. So here you go, 230. Now that one didn't move very fast and I was like, fuck. But then I seem to always gain momentum, so the next few reps always feel a little bit better. Third one felt all right. 
fold easy way and then last one felt like I was ready to go for bed as soon as I finished that but good session 2.30 sweet <laughs>